Hello everyone and uh, welcome to re-entry. In this video I'll be going through how you can use uh, the Delta V feature of the entry monitoring system, the EMS, which is located on MDC1. Uh, I've been creating a couple of other videos where it goes through uh, the EMS testing, so make sure that you check those out for kind of an in-depth explanation of uh, the main features and functions of the EMS and how to test that it works uh, correctly. Uh, so first of all, I'll leave this in off. I'll make sure that uh, the EMS is uh, powered with the circuit breakers set to M and A and M and B, uh, which basically connects it to the electrical systems on board. And then, uh, when you are performing an either manual burn, uh, you can use the EMS to uh, check your delta V. Uh, you can do it during RCS burns and I'll show you that in this video as well. And then uh, you can use it to monitor an primary kind of fully automated burn using the AGC and you can use this as a backup monitoring system to that. And lastly you can also use this to perform kind of semi-automatic uh, SPS burns using the SCS which is basically uh, the backup mode to the CMC. Uh, so um, the SES uh, and the CMC is basically those two modes that you can use to perform a lot of the functions on board uh, for attitude control and navigation and stuff like that. And the CMC uh, mostly uses com computer to do everything, while SES is more manual. So what I want to do now is to just first uh, show you how you can monitor your Delta Vs using the EMS. So to do that, I'll set the function to delta v, and then I'll set this to normal. And now, if I uh, perform a manual SPS burn, so I make sure that the delta v thrust is armed, uh, the SPS direct is set to normal. But then uh, I can now uh, do two things. I will do two different types of manual burns. One is RCS, and one is for SPS. So first, let's start with the SPS, and this is all manual. Then I'll just hit the SPS thrust uh, direct switch to on. This will ignite my engine, and I'm currently facing in a prograde-ish direction. So let me just correct my attitude. Okay, and now I'm going to uh, set the uh, SPS thrust switch to on and notice uh, this counter here. Make sure that you are in uh, delta V function in normal mode for this to, to track your actual changes. Now I'll set the SPS uh, thrust direct to on. And you can see that the uh, delta V is now changing. And if I now use the uh, reaction control system uh, to uh, uh, perform another burn called the RCS burn instead of an SPS burn, you can see that it also affects the uh, delta V uh, tracking here. So I'll uh, set this one to standby and I'll set the EMS to off and I'll reset everything. Uh, the next thing that I want to perform is to set a, the, a specific delta V. So say that I want to manually uh, create a burn of about 10 feet, uh, let's say 20 feet per second. Then I can set this to delta V set and then go back to delta V, hit this to normal. And then I'll do a, a 20 feet per second burn manually using this SPS thrust switch. And you control the precision of this, of course, with this switch. So once you see that this is process zero, you will uh, hit this back to normal. Then you can use RCS to kind of uh, remove the residuals. And now I've done uh, uh, the burn that I planned uh, completely manual. Um, 
the next uh, mode uh, I want to uh, do is to uh, perform kind of an, a semi-automatic burn using SCS. Uh, to do this, I will first set a delta V. Uh, let's set 30 again, and then I'll set it to delta V, and I'll hit normal, and then uh, I'll use the thrust on button here, which is also part of the SCS, which will uh, try to automatically perform this burn uh, that I've set up. So now I'm going to hit thrust on. And you can see that it now performed the burn automatically. And then I can use the RCS to kind of uh, remove the residuals. Uh, another thing that you can do with the EMS, EMS is uh, to um, to do small kind of delta Vs or monitor your differences when you're docking. So say that you're uh, separating from the EMS, no, uh, so that you're separating from the uh, the launch vehicle, and you want to extract the lunar module. You can then use this to kind of track your current velocity differences to. Uh, the launch vehicle. Uh, as you separate from the launch vehicle, uh, you can set this one to normal and delta V and then perform the separation. And you should see the your speed uh, or velocity differences from the uh, uh, launch vehicle here. And then you can increase this one to uh, separate from it further. And then uh, you can use this again to get kind of back to the velocity it had and then move towards it. So you can basically use this as a tool during docking to kind of see your relative speed to the launch vehicle. Uh, if you don't, if you leave this at 0.0, .0 it will basically show you the difference uh, in your velocity based on the velocity that you had. So you can see that now I'm having a, a negative 0.5 uh, feet per second relative to uh, my previous speed and now I'm at the, at the other side so 0 0.5 and then I can hit uh, the off standby and then uh, you're all reset so uh, the EMS can be used in many different situations uh, as mentioned it's mostly designed uh, for entry monitoring and to see your entry trajectory and I'll cover that in another video but you can also use it to uh, measure your delta Vs, your velocity offsets, and also uh, ranging when you're performing docking with the lunar module. Basically, it can use the VHF to show you the range towards the target in the range indicator here. Uh, to sum up quickly, I can also use uh, the function here to decide uh, what each of these uh, uh, tools here uh, does so the uh, range is it delta v or is it the range uh, that's all dependent on the function switch and then uh, the uh, increase or decrease switch here uh, will also change this or the scroll based on what function it is so basically this function switch controls everything and then the mode switch kind of uh, uh, allows you to go through the function uh, while in standby mode you can you typically set everything up so with that, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like these uh, short videos, make sure you hit that uh, like and subscribe uh, button. And uh, yeah, have a good day.